Hi, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to scrape Instagram hashtag pages using Axiom.ai and no code browser automation. I'm Alex Barlow, co founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. First, a bit of context. I'm going to show you how to set up a template. It's available on our website and it only takes two steps to set up. This template works by opening up an Instagram hashtag page, it then scrapes all the links to the posts on that page, looping through opening each post in another Chrome window, and then it scrapes the um, poster's handle and the link to their profile. Finally, it writes that data to a Google Sheet. Quickly, before we get started, and I show you how to configure the template in just two steps, so it's pretty quick, it's only gonna take a moment, um, you will need a blank Google Sheet to write your data to. As you can see, I have one ready prepared for this video to write my data to. Then you're going to, of course, need to install the template. Now, if you're watching video on YouTube, you can go to our website, axiom.ai slash recipes, or find the link at the top that says templates, and you'll find this template and many others. They're available for you just to use and try, and don't forget, all new users get 60 minutes of runtime to try out these templates. You'll also be able to load them from the extension. I've got our start automation screen here where you'll see a start from template link, and then you can select from our range of templates. This one you'll find under social media. Okay, let's show you how to configure the template. Okay, this will only take a moment before I show you the automation running. I've got the template open in Axiom, so I'm just gonna open up Axiom. And the first step we need to configure of only two is step one, get a list of links to pages from a URL. I expand the step, we see the URL field. All I need to do is cut and paste the URL in, or if I'm really lazy and I'm already on the hashtag page I want to scrape, I can just press get current URL. And that step is set up, so onto the next. I'm gonna collapse that step. Now I'll walk you through quickly what the other steps do. Loop through data. This is basically the step that loops the bot through the different post links that we scrape from the hashtag page. The go to page loads the URLs in and the data is passed into that, the scrape data, so it will loop through each URL. Now we have a second loop step. That's just to wrap the current URL step and the link step into one data package when we write to the sheet. So basically the current URL, when we're on the post page, grabs the URL of the um, post. We get a list of links to pages. This is a scraping step, and this step scrapes the, um, the profile link and obviously the handle, and that's already set up as those as other steps are. We don't need to worry about those. What we need to do now is set up our final step, step 2.3, and this is to write the data to a Google Sheet. So we're almost done. Okay, so I'm gonna just look for this sheet I've created, it's top of the list, pretty easy. Set a sheet name, it's sheet one. And um, if I, um, important to set, add to existing data if you run this on more than one template. So that's what I've done. I've got it on, on add to existing data. I'm gonna collapse that step, I'm done. We're now ready to see the magic. Okay, now for the part I never get tired of watching, Axiom Automate Browser. This is gonna be pretty cool. So I'm just gonna click Run. I always test my bots first on the desktop. As we do that, we see, see Axiom open up this new window. It's loading in the um, hashtag page. It's gonna start selecting the elements and it's gonna scroll down the page. So it's selecting the links. Now, for a test, I always, um, Select, first of all, I just set my max results to three, by the way, just to do a shorter run. Anyway, back to Axiom. You can see it's opened up one of the profile on um, the post pages and it's scraping the um, links in there and it's looped already through to the next um, post page. So let's have a look in our once empty spreadsheet. Now it's got our first result in there because it's already looped through and it's written in the post URL. It's also loaded in the um, profile or scrape the profile page of that 
hashtag our Instagram user and of course the handle. And you can already see as I've been talking, the next result is loaded in. And that's our third result and our run has ended. Pretty awesome. Worth noting, like any of our templates, you can customize it to meet your needs, your requirements. So for example, with this template, you could add steps into the loop where you could add a click step to click on the like to like each post. You could use the enter text step to comment if you wanted to comment. So you can pretty much use this template or any of our other base templates available on our site to adapt to your requirements. That's pretty cool. All our automations are fully customizable. Okay, and lastly, if you need some help, we've got great customer support. And do note that we do provide hints on how to solve any issues on the actual templates page itself towards the bottom. You'll find the link on our website. Thank you.